QR codes started out about 18 years ago when a Toyota subsidiary needed a way to track parts and production for their vehicles. But somehow it evolved into becoming a technological missing link because it bridges the gap between the print world and the digital world. QR code scanner app uh, is already embedded on your smartphone. I know AT&T has their smartphone scanner, uh, but all you have to do is go to your app store, iTunes, your Android store, and then put in the search QR code and they're free and they're very, very easy to do. All you do is hold up your phone, push the button, it scans it and it takes you to where it's supposed to take you. QR code can do everything from send you to a video. It could give you a message. It could send you a text. There are so many things you could do with a QR code and program it. Well, the great thing about QR codes is when they built them, because they were built for parts and production, they knew that, that workers on the line would end up smudging them, they would get torn things would happen, so they built in a 30% deterioration rate in there. But they could still scan them and get the code they needed. And that really made a difference. So I started exploring and found that you can actually customize it. And because of the 30% deterioration rate, you could actually, that means you have 30% of the code you can play with. So that means you can put a logo in there. Uh, you can manipulate the code to make it look like a piece of art. But what you could do is actually make it uh, attractive. You could give it a curiosity factor so it doesn't look like everybody else's QR code. It could really, really stand out. Here in the United States, they seem new. But if over in Japan, they've been using them for over nine years and they love them. They've gone wild for them. But now we've got them over here in the United States and people don't really know what to do with them. So now it's just, it's kind of a waiting game right now for, for our society to catch up. As people start really starting to use smartphones, the QR code will get more and more use as we go further, but it's gonna take a little bit of time.